Hey, this is Mike Swallow with Cajun Radio. I'm here with Sergeant James Anderson with the Louisiana State Police. So we're out here trying to promote safe driving for the holidays. And James, you, why do you have a laser in my studio? So we can go outside and clock some vehicles. Let's go see how it works. <gasps> there are two main things that we use for detecting speed. One is police radar. This one is police laser. Uh, it's very effective. I can single out, pick out a particular vehicle that's traveling on the highway. For example, if I want to clock that 18 wheeler right there, that quickly, I know this vehicle is traveling 58 miles an hour, and it was approximately 960 feet away from us at the time that I clocked it. Would you like to give it a try? Absolutely. Do I just point? Point and shoot. 53, stop that car. That dude's doing 60. Hey, you're going 10 miles over the speed limit, buddy. And I was hoping it would just shoot up. <laughs> hey, he's a state worker. He's 44. He's smart. City Marshal went 16. He's good. I don't care if you're one of the Hell's Angels. I'm no good at this. I'm not getting no readings. Hey, that one pulling out of the Waffle House is doing 10. I am seeing a laser. I feel like I'm playing a video game. Hey, it's like a laser. It magnifies. It's almost like looking through binoculars. Okay, there's a little red laser light that goes through there. It automatically pops up a red number telling me exactly how fast they're going. Yeah, this is like playing like uh, Modern Warfare or uh, what's that game everybody likes? Is this the updated version of a radar now? Is this like the, the newest technology for the state police? It, it is. We still use police radar quite, quite a bit, but the laser affords us uh, certain advantages. That magnified scope, we'll see the speeders before they see us. What's the worst excuse you ever got from somebody at speed? Oh, goodness. I've, I've gotten a bunch. Most common is I have to go to the bathroom. You know what? i got to go to the bathroom right now, actually. When I was a sheriff's deputy, you usually give them that leeway of 5, 10 miles over. Now, if you're in a construction zone or if you're in a school zone, eh, 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 because there's kids in there, and, of course, the people who work on the roads, they're somebody's mama and daddy and they want to go home and see their children. Let me get that truck that's coming over that old fast. Okay, so here's my question. You can obviously track things that are going fast. Yes. Can you track things that are going slow too? Yes, we can. So for instance, if I wanted to find out how fast Mike Swallow could run, we could find that. What? I wonder how fast I can go. Let's find out. All right, so, you know, that brought me back to when I was a police officer, the sheriff's officer. James, thanks so much for doing that. But the reason we went out there and did that is to promote safe driving for the holidays because, you know, there's a lot of people on the roadway and we want everybody to be safe. We absolutely do. And speed in and of itself isn't necessarily dangerous, but combined with any other factor, it can make it real dangerous real quick. So don't be in a hurry to get to, to where you're going for Christmas. Do not get a heavy foot and stay safe on the roadway. For real-time traffic updates, you can go to nixel.com and subscribe. Uh, we provide uh, updates across the state uh, as to what's going on. Uh, you can also dial 511, which is a service uh, provided by Louisiana DOTD. Also, way to go is a free app that provides real-time traffic information to travelers in our state. If you notice uh, an impaired or dangerous driver, you can contact state police directly by dialing star SP, which is star 577 from your cell phone.